Yo, what's going on? It's Aaron Basler here again. Thanks for stopping by to my channel. Today, I wanted to give you a brief tour of my DIY studio space, how I put everything together, the gear that I use, and how I make it work for my music production, my YouTube videos, or my, in the future, short films, and my photography. I don't want to go too in-depth into how I have everything set up in this video. This is just a general overview. Hopefully, it may inspire you to use whatever you have because this is super DIY. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, get into it. So I wanted to start with a little bit of the bedroom section and work up to the main studio that I have, just so I can show you the little rundown that I have, at least for the space itself. It's not directly related to the entire studio, but it is related because that's how I set up the vibe for me to be the most creative and things like that. So let's get to it. Obviously, as you can tell, I have a lot of LEDs in the house. Just so it sets the vibe, and I like to shoot mostly at night. I like cash in my head to my ass. Do the dash, can you make it go fast? Fuck the fame, all I want is them bands. If she keep on mugging up. And if I'm not shooting at night, I just like having, in the daytime, I have those blackout curtains. They help out a lot. They're not the darkest that I can get. They're cheap, like Walmart. You're broke! But I do need to upgrade those. I love garbage. Like straight. I That's why you're shitting your garbage. pants all the time. So far, these do the job. I use them. Um, the only problem I have them with those is that obviously they don't completely darken the room. You can still see some sunlight come through, pass through a little bit, but it's not as much. I mean, the room can go almost like 90% dark. So they still work. They're not the no. nicest looking, but they do the job and that's what I have them used for. Anyway, starting off as you enter, for a while, I didn't want to have a second setup in here just because it's a little bit redundant. I rarely would be just making music in here in the bedroom. But if I need to, or if I have some company, <laughs> yeah, somebody else wanted to work in another space in my imagination, I think this would be the station. Or sometimes if I just don't want to even, you know, sometimes you have to switch it up. And so if you wanted to use this different setup and, and just like a little portable without worrying about the whole big deal, um, this will be the setup and this is actually uh, my portable gear that I use if I go anywhere else I pack this up into my backpack. This is exactly what works. I mean instead of this MacBook Pro I now have a MacBook Air, but this essentially will come in here. I used a dual monitor system for a long time uh, So what I had it sitting on was something like I went to Home Depot and I got one of those uh, shelf wooden thing wooden section thing What is that? And I put the IKEA legs on it. I have it mounted like that, just so I can put like like PlayStation monitors and whatnot. I use that, and I mounted it to them for a long time. That was my main setup with my huge iMac. <laughs> yeah, it's not huge. It's just I think it's a 15 inch. Ooh, that's kind of small. Yikes! But. Now that I'm not using that, I'm just using it for a bedroom section. I might clear this out so I can make it a different thing. This was just so I can put, at least for now, organize the gear that I have, the portable gear that I have, so you guys can see the other stuff that I have. Behind it, I have one of these Walmart lights. You're broke! I'm not gonna try it. It's gonna be too bright in your face. Um, let's see. All right. Behind it, as you can tell, the box is for the SM58 and the uh, Q8. X Samsung one that I got. This is the first one just because I was like, I'm not gonna get the Sure SM58, but it's a classic. It's a must have in every studio. So I'm going with it. Um, I end up just getting it. I caved. <laughs> the first speakers that I had, one of those like Walmart. Oh shit, here we go again. Cheapo. They just have, they come with a little sub. So I figured that would be useful for a while. I didn't want to use the monitors because I never made music with monitors or anything like that. Cause that involved like treating your room or treating your space for that. And that was just going to be too involved for a while. It's just like at home and buying acoustic panels and drilling and all that stuff would have been not good. So I just, and it wasn't portable for the first time. Actually I used headphones. I just 
did my mix on headphones. I still do. I mean, it's only if when people are around or if I'm checking the mix another way or I'm just like playing it out loud. I never really make music with monitors. Even when I do, like now I have acoustic panels as I'll show you in the main setup. I don't do that. I use headphones that trust my ears that way. Anyway, I won't go too much in depth into that. But yeah, I have these. These are like 50 bucks or 30 bucks or 40 bucks, I forgot. But yeah, they do have that sub right there. They work really well. They work for, for a while and just to check your mix and whatnot. But I, I really love this uh, tapestry thing. I just wrapped it around like this chair that I got at a thrift shop or something like that. So I really dig it. It's really sick. It's very comfortable. Uh, do have shears. I removed the closet doors so I can have shears. They're not really arranged in a super neat way. But like essentially when you have them, I'm gonna put a other LED lights so they can shine right through it so you can see a little bit more. But so far I have a LED rope going all the way through. I should have it go all the way to the end. It's a little LCD thing that I'm still kind of obsessing about, but whatever, for now it's fine. It goes all the way to here where I have my poster and, and whatnot. I have a second. I got this, again, everything in here is DIY. So I got this monitor, I think from a buddy of mine in my old job. It's a 50 inch TV screen. So I have it set up in one of those Walmart tables. One of those like, uh, if you go to the section, I, just cause my theme is like red and black and mostly bright, vivid colors. So I try to match everything within this space to be that just cause I, A, don't want to really paint my walls and B, that's just kind of the aesthetic of this brand anyway. My music is Crystal Velvet and Aaron Basil, this entire channel. So it's red and black and dark blues and other bright, vivid colors. So anyway, this matches. If I put regular light, you can see everything. A lot of these things are like black, black curtains, you know, like a lot of it, you know. Not the nicest versions of everything, but yeah, even look, the Akai MPK Mini, black and red, everything. So it matches the theme anyway. So I should probably blow those out, they're running out. But yeah, so I have this set up, 55, so I can be, when I'm in here and just kind of relaxing and whatnot, I try to actually, if, if, if at all, like the majority of the time, by myself, I try not to watch TV in the main studio space. I just kind of watch it in here that way I can separate in my mind like when it's time to like be creative and when it's time to oh. mm. yeah. just relax nice. you can separate that in your mind so that's why you can see I'm not a huge gamer again it's like when you're trying to relax and you just need something you can tell I still have a PS3 in 2021 not that much of a gamer but you know if I need to game it's right there you know I'm not that committed to buying the new consoles and whatnot I mean it doesn't make sense I'm not I don't game that much my gaming is like my music and my photography and whatnot so that's what I want to do so I only have like the basic games and whatnot um, if I needed to do that anyway let's just go by section section <laughs> yeah otherwise I'll be all over the place all right so this section the 50 inch it's not a smart TV. It's one of those earlier ones that were like super bulky and heavy. So they didn't come with, they weren't smart TV enabled. So you can, I bought a dongle for it. I'll link it in the description below. I think you can find, I found it like a Best Buy. You can use a smart view on your phone to be able to cast onto this device. And this device is connected through HDMI and it goes into the TV. So you can be able to see whatever's on your phone will appear on the TV. So I can probably do a quick demo. All right, I have to reach for the remote real quick, which I keep right next to my bed. Got that TV remote for the lamp right here. I use the LED bulbs. While we're here, might as well just jump into it. The LED bulb, the GE from Target. I will link it in the description if I find it, the link for that, but it's at Target. It's one of those. It's like 15 bucks, a little bit expensive, but not as expensive as those Philip U ones you can use with the app. And I didn't want to really go the app thing because I didn't want when anybody comes here or if, you know, I just didn't want to have to whip out my phone every time I need to change my life. I just need something that's reliable, that's there is right here you know if anybody else came in here they wanted to use it i didn't want them to download the app and whatnot this is here and it works this other remote is for that led strip you can control those for different lights and whatnot this is the first lamp that i had i don't know where i got it. i think my grandpa gave that to me but uh, photography my photography stuff i need to mount it properly right now i just kind of put it there with the like a cheapo like dollar tree frames I mean, I will upgrade in the future, but I just needed to be able to see my work and it inspired me every time I wake up in the morning, be like, all right, this is, you know, this is what I'm working towards or whatever. But a uh, giant mirror from Home Depot, it would have been on the ceiling, but I'm not that freaky. Well, I am, but I'm anyway, it's right here. Uh... <laughs> hey, man, you corny. 
Next nigga say something while I'm talking is getting shot. Please believe that. And uh, yeah. Here, look at this little arm. Put your cell phone. Then, when I'm in bed right there, I can either have it like reach over here, connect my phone, bam. You know, have that portable while that's connected to this. So with that, I connect my phone. Let's see, so from here, I go to smart view. You can see that. Let's put that right here so you can see it better. So from there, I go to smart view, and that's the device itself. And so it's connecting, and then bam. It connected so anything that I want to watch now I'll just go back on my phone to the main screen all right main screen and you can even rotate it obviously when you're watching videos and things like that some apps allow you to obviously twist the screen so see what the recent goofy thing I was watching oh so I was watching this tutorial because I was gonna actually shoot this entire video on my phone because I have the DJI app DJI OM4, the gimbal, but I decided I'm just gonna use this camera and I found the settings that worked for me and things like that. So anyway, so anything I wanna watch, I can project on there. Obviously this will go on here. This little item that I showed you earlier. I'm not gonna plug that in right now. I'll just leave that as is. The audio comes out from here, obviously, and it goes into, let's make it brighter again. Have a little sub again another one of those like speakers that i had that i showed you earlier but uh this is the earlier version have a little sub try to do some sort of cable management put gaffer's tape to hold all the cables it's not the prettiest thing you know what i just didn't even care anymore that works <laughs> so i have that have that connected to these speakers obviously my modem and a little plug set up over here with the I'm gonna probably mount that differently, whatever. So right now I have this going on. Even if you have like anything that's on your phone, rather than just having like, oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, let's, put, let's not look at that. Uh, you yeah, know, it's actually pretty sick. Let's see if I can make it less brighter. So you can probably like leave that zoom in on your phone. You know, so fills out the whole screen you can leave that as a wallpaper if you needed to but there's no reason to keep your phone on all night but i'll use that as a light right now light up this place a lot of memes on my phone you caught me with those oh, anyway so that that'll be that but yeah so that is the gig and we're gonna step out of here i think i showed you all the gear that's in here oh and i oh one more thing that I didn't show you. Obviously, um, one of the mics that I have was a Blue Yeti. I had that for a long time. It's good, I mean, I plug it in, it works for what I do. I do have settings that I use in my Logic or Ableton that I just allows it to kind of make it a little bit better and whatnot, but a lot of YouTubers, you see them with this. They mount it usually on a mic stand and whatnot, or even this table setup, but. Oh shit, what is that? I have this for a while because I didn't want to, again, purchase all these acoustic panels and hang them up at home and whatnot. When I moved out, I just, actually before I moved out, I got this one. It came with a stand, like it's a heavy duty stand that comes with it. But essentially you can put your mic through here or I can lower it, I can disconnect it and put it on the table and just use with like this, any mic you can have. So, but I love that the mic stand actually has a boom so you can boom the SM58 or the Q8X. I can never say that right but you can boom that or I do have, these are dynamic microphones, obviously you guys may or may not know. You can have condenser microphones as well. These are meant for stage. So like they usually cancel out noise and they're way better for studio if you don't have like treated room, which most people, most of us don't really have a fully treated room. We buy these acoustic panels, but it's not really the best solution for that because you actually really need to have a professional. I feel like, you know, professional studios are like, really they have like people that know how to set that up. So all these acoustic panels, they do just, they're not soundproofing obviously, they're just like sound dampening and reducing the reverb. But if you really want to fully treated room, that's when you use those nicer condenser mics and a preamp. But for most of us, if you really wanna cancel out a lot of the noise and whatnot and just focus your vocals, I have a boomy voice and I'm loud already. So this is like perfect, you know, like, and besides in my my mind, it's like, if you can sing on these and however you sound on these, when, when it's time to perform live, you sound exactly the same because it's like, you know, you know how to like approach doing your vocals using that. So I'd rather just like use those in a studio setting. I do have condenser microphones, but I I almost rarely use them, if at all, I use dynamic microphones. So, you know, let's close this up and let's get to the main studio.
All right, walking out of here. Obviously, mirror, and I'm using the deity microphone that every YouTuber probably has outside of the road and whatnot. So I have it pointing towards me because I have it uh, mounted on top on a cold shoe just so I can be able to tilt the angles down and up and whatnot. So yeah, it's a little hack I will show you in other videos how I kind of put that together. It should be a short video. But anyway, let's walk into the air. I don't have this super organized right now. This is like an old wine. I'm not like a wine person. Like I got this from a friend. I just have it and stand in just like placeholder for actual paintings and posters that I want to have. I mean, I only have like these cheapo, like oh, really? everything in here is cheapo, really. Let me just disclaimer, but <laughs> wow, this, uh, I love this show, Stranger Things. I have another one in here. I will buy like another, like nicer poster frame whatnot. But yeah, essentially I was using these for a long time. I still have that when I have a lot of my, my work in here and frame it right. I'll do that in future tutorials. When I learn, I will show you guys too. Little tips and tricks where I find out how to do things. But, uh, all right, moving on. In the hallway, I need to clear this up. It's one of those boards again, one of those, um, boy, if you don't get shelf boards, <laughs> is what I'll call them. Bruh. But essentially, if you put in your know, legs on there, they can become thing. Or I usually, I actually used to use it for, let me show you. I still do sometimes I'm on the bed if I have a laptop and I don't want to put it directly on like you want to have a firm surface you can put like food on there and whatnot you put your laptop and you kind of be lazy that way and lazy man's hack and trips and tricks and things like that <laughs> God have mercy upon us <laughs> I had a monitor. I, this is the first TV that I had. I was using that as a monitor. It actually kind of sucks as a monitor. Still wanting to use that for, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, more of my work in the hallway. I'm going to update it. These were just from a calendar. I'm going to remove them. I actually put, these are placeholders for actual work that I'm going to mount in here. Don't really want to show this light, but turn this on. Don't really want to show this light, but turn this on. Do you smoke a lot? Most of the time. You don't smoke a lot, right? Nah. Do you smoke a lot? No. Not at all? Nah, you never smoke, right? No. Once in a while I don't. You don't smoke, right? I smoke sometimes. Sometimes I do. Once in a while. I never Lester, smoke. do you smoke? Me? No. Never. <laughs> I'm going to change that actually into LED to a bulb that actually I can control with the remote. But for now, that's what it has. All right. Real quick. Pass by here. Rick and Morty. Love it. Poster gonna have more artwork in here in the bathroom space again the black and red and darker colors because every little apartment always comes with this brown which is ridiculous and ugly and whatever so i always try to avoid that and just do my own thing i will commit to like painting the space but for now this is what i have all right moving on this oh lights again jesus christ red and blue they give you like a nice little uh, at least to me, it's pleasing to my eyes. I, it kind of looks ugly just because I, do, I have lights that are blank in here that I'd not put in there, but whatever. Leaving that, got a whiteboard. Right now, the theme is momentum. I want to gain momentum and doing this a lot more, putting out more videos, putting out more music content this year. So that's the theme and the rest I'm going to fill out with like minor little goals and things like that, reminders as I'm going through this year. So Let's move on to this. I did tell you that I did have the DJI OM4. It's a gimbal for the phone, for the smartphones. I've yet to use that. I want to give tutorials on how to work that. Obviously, you saw me watching a tutorial on that, but I'm going to use it a lot more. I'm going to learn a few things. I'm going to customize it, and I'll give out tutorials then in the future on how I have it set up with my phone and see if it's any use for you. Do you want to do illustrations and drawings? So I bought a tablet, and I, I want to try editing now with the tablet with you know, Photoshop. Actually, I don't use Photoshop anymore. I use Affinity Photo and Affinity Design. Anyway, I'll talk about that in other videos, but this is it, the tablet, because I want to be able to, I do like these interesting oh, really? illustrations and whatnot. I'll go more into that in future videos, but I just want to give you like a quick tour. So this would be like the art station. I was going to buy a drafting table to put here, but for now, I just got this like Target little table and whatnot, and I have with the matching chairs of course they come with it that you can fold which is super awesome because i'm living in like a small space so it's like it's very imperative to have like modular furniture and things like that gaffer's tape super important it's not permanent it just ties things up like i need to like control those cables put gaffer's tape and whatnot so you won't trip you see it on film sets all the time 
the deity microphone that I am using right now. This crystal vodka that was interesting. So I just kind of fit my theme with the crystal velvet and I just like the way it looks anyway with water. It's all gone now, but now the plant, everything in this house is like LED light. I could put the panels underneath the kitchen, but I just feel like whatever, like this, this works for me. Every single bulb that you buy it comes with a remote. So kind of just having multiple remotes around the house. They are actually, the fortunate and unfortunate thing about having these uh, remotes is that the fortunate thing is that they all sync up. Any remote you use for these bulbs, it works for all of them. Now, what sucks is that, you know, you might just want to change the one on here and this one will change too. So it's like, so you actually have to get closer to the bulb and actually change that. Then that one won't be affected. But yeah, I have those lampshades and whatnot. The same kind of rope light that I have in the bedroom. I have that all the way up top right there. So now, because I'm closer to this, I don't have to use the regular battery. I actually do have to buy one of those battery grip that goes at the bottom of the camera so I can have like two batteries going. That's gonna be important for future filming stuff. It's just important to have in your gear as a photographer and filmmaker. So I'm gonna have that, but right now I just have one of these that connects. It's like a fake battery thing. I will link it in the description and I have it attached to an extension so I can move around here and still have this connected. Actually, I could have used this entire time because I do have this huge extension thing. I would have just used it and connected and walked around the entire place with that, but too much hassle. All right, the lighting. Every YouTuber you see, almost a lot of the YouTubers have this light. This is the Aperture 120D Mark II. It's awesome and I have it with a softbox itself that comes with it. Well, it doesn't come with you, you get it extra, but yeah, this is a super awesome light. Can't wait to use it a lot more. I'm gonna show you how I have it set up and all that stuff. But I have that as my key light. I tried to have like lampshades in the back and whatnot and have different bowls, but just didn't look like how I wanted. I might use them for future videos, we'll see. I'm still experimenting with those, but obviously I showed you these bulbs. I'm gonna set up another one, like a floor lamp too, just so I won't be using my uh, main key light right here just to light up my everyday videos. I'll put it right in the corner, but I have that and it has its own remote over there. Let's walk up to it right now. It has its own remote. And of course, another little remote for the <laughs> for the bulbs when I'm sitting right here and don't want to have to move to the other remotes. I can have it right here, so I have it right there. Tripods. I'm just gonna skip around. Thank God. Ooh. And I oh. SM58 that I showed you the box of stuff like that. The aperture light bag that opens. Then this bag, I do have these clip-ons that I use for just to hold something. Like if you have one of those diffusers, uh, the five in one reflector and diffuser and whatnot, which I have over there, I will show you in a second, but this allows you to connect it to a light stand and then you can grip it and diffuse light and whatnot. So have that bunch of cables in here. I won't go into too much of these, do that for later. But if I didn't have the soft box right there, the light dome two, as it's called, I would use one of these just attach that it's hard light but sometimes it's practical and you need that and you don't need a giant light dome softbox everywhere that you are at so it's easier and portable anyway and it has different practical effects i have tripod right here I have like three or four tripods this one was the one that was on the camera when i was doing that uh video when you saw me the intro video and this one it's a fluid head tripod it's an old one i got it at like a pawn shop i do need to upgrade that it's holding this newer field monitors for so I can be able to see myself when I'm filming, talking at videos, I can plug that up. I need to buy power cable for it right now. I'm just using one of the batteries that you can get. I'll link them in the description, everything I'll link in the description. This is that MacBook Air that I use now. I use it with the SSD. <laughs> I have that gaffer's tape on it. There's no place to put that SSD. It's a one terabyte. It's a Samsung one terabyte SSD. So whenever I'm moving with the laptop, like for example, I'm in the middle of like an edit, I get so obsessed. I might just unplug it from the power right here and take that laptop into the fucking bathroom uh, and just put that on that stand or whatever. If I'm cooking, I'll take the laptop, put it somewhere else. So it'll always be connected. It, the SSD won't have to be flopping around. Hey, that's pretty good. It comes off easily, obviously, without damaging the computer. But uh, I use that for this MacBook Air. It's essentially has all the music stuff. But anyway, so SSD, my MacBook Air. I think it's a late 2011. Works pretty good. I don't have any junk that I usually have on my iMac over there. So 
this is just super portable and I use the MK2, the little portable mini MK2 that I showed you that was in the bedroom and I use just, uh, might as well mosey over here. The Focusrite Solo, audio interface, super portable. Everybody knows about this. If you've been on YouTube looking at production stuff, you know about it. And then the Audio-Technica. These are not the M50s. I do need to upgrade to the M50s. These are the M30X, so they're just as good in my opinion. It's my opinion! But uh, I do need to get the M50s. I have tried them. Minimal difference in my opinion, how they sound. I'm used to them maybe. But this is a Behringer 4 channel headphone amplifier. I was tired of people like asking me to like, whenever people come and record or if I have people and whatnot, asking me to turn up the vo turn down the volume in their headphones and on mine, because I was using like a headphone splitter and mine, I like my music loud or whatever I'm listening to, I like it to be loud. So I was like, let's get us find a solution. And this was a solution so I can split the audio so they can control their own volume in their headphones and whatnot. So with this, oh, going back to light, softbox itself, I have a honeycomb grid that it's attached with the little Velcro right here, just so I can be able to, you know, like split the light and whatnot so I can focus it so it's not spilling everywhere in the background. I can actually control it just coming directly to wherever I have it pointed, so it helps. Now the audio interface that I use for a long time, rely on, it's a UX2. It's actually for guitar, you can plug in guitar. Yes, they have it for, you can have, you know, microphone input because they do have one of those uh, 48 volt phantom power just so you can be able to have condenser microphones. But I told you already, I don't, I rarely use condenser microphones, but just in case if you need it, it's there for dynamic microphones. They don't need phantom power. They just, they work. Thank God. <laughs> you plug them in. And so I was using that for guitars for a long time. Like I do have, let's see, let's go over there real quick. Obviously not for acoustic guitar. <laughs> and then the bass guitar right here that I have. So you can plug that in. Let's change on yourself so you can see the electric guitar right over here i can plug it in directly into it comes with its own like it's like if you've used one of those i rigs and whatnot it's like that and you know for the computer it just it comes with like virtual amps and whatnot i like the sound of it and besides living in an apartment it's more practical for me to have something like this because i'm not like right now it's 5 22 a.m there's no way i'm plugging a real amplifier in here at this time of the hour you know what i mean unless i have my house soundproof which i not obviously you know it's like this is super diy so this is practical for me so i have that but i was using it you know some of the presets i change them around so i can have vocal chains for my vocals and whatnot now i'm just using it to route audio out from here into the headphones so i can plug directly and control my headphones here so that's always on max and then audio out is coming out and then it's connected to my m audio bx5s which i got it from a guy on marketplace or whatever so second hand but met up with the guy super cool super cheap great value nice i prefer these to the rockets i've tried the rockets they're a little bit more bassy but these are fine, these work just great for me. They're flat response and things like that. I won't go super in detail about that. Also this focus right, right now what it's doing here is giving me an audio, audio input option so I can have like an aggregate device thing. I'll show tutorials in the future how I have that set up. But yeah, I have that. For a long time I was using the mixer as an audio interface because I'll go more into detail of that in the other video. But yeah, it's another audio input. This is a five input audio mixer and it has phantom power on here. And you see that this input, I'm using that input into that. So if I wanna do have input from another thing, like my laptop, if I'm playing other instruments in there and I just wanted to route the audio from here into the mixer or even my phone, I don't know why it's not zooming. On my phone, I can have audio come in and all going to the same space. So it's all modular. First camera that I had, A5500, at least for the Sony, is A5500 right here. It's crop sensor, comes with a little kit lens, 16 to 50. Is it 16 to 50? Oh yeah, 16 to 50 millimeter. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three, quick math. Uh, 3.5, F3.5. It's okay, it's great doesn't shoot 4k wanted to upgrade to the a6300 but i ended up the camera that i'm using it's an a7 III, so i just upgraded to that instead with a 16 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 it's a g master lens i will show videos or pictures of it in this video as you're probably seeing it right now because i probably cut it into the video so yeah i got one of those tiffin blow oh, pro black somebody. yeah oh, he needs oh. some milk pro mist filter filters just have a nice high-end roll off and whatnot 
but I only got a couple of them for my biggest lens, for my widest lens, which is a 16, 35 millimeter F1, F2.8, the ones that I'm using right now to film. And for my next lens that I got, which is a prime lens, essential to have for every filmmaker and photographer. 50 millimeter, the Sony one, F1.8. So I got another Pro Mist filter there, about like a hundred bucks. So I was like, I'll buy two of them. And then when I get another lens, which is a different size, an 85 millimeter F1.4 by Sam Yang, super awesome lens. Obviously this is a full frame camera, so this is super awesome for it. And it's cheaper than the actual Sony one. I think I got it for like 700 bucks compared to, if you get the Sony version, which is like, I think a couple grand, I was like, it said great reviews and people liked it and I liked it, so I got it. Yes, love! But anyway, I don't have a Pro Mist filter for that, which gives you that nice, like nicer, you know, softer image, nicer roll off on the highlights and whatnot, nicer contrast. If I don't have, I didn't want to buy a third Pro Mist filter, so I just got the step up rings. So you can put these and you put the filter in there. They can take whatever lens you got and you can use the same filters and without having to buy the extra filter. So that's awesome. Still haven't even opened that yet, but I will when I testing out more. So moving on, my keyboard. I do have an Alesis at the M Audio, of course. Obviously, I got it because I need the drum pads right here, and I need the assignable knobs and buttons because I do a lot of custom stuff in either an Ableton or Logic or uh, Main Stage. So um, super useful especially when you're doing like custom patches and synths and whatnot and different sounds and you want to do automation manually and stuff like that. You want to twist knobs and whatnot. You can do it on there. You can assign the effect and then you can twist it manually. Remote for the TV. Now go to the main TV. Actually, I'm using the TV. A lot of people wouldn't say this is a good idea to use your monitor, but I like this. There's a setting on it on the Samsung. It's a Samsung, it's a 55 inch. There's a setting on it, it's called game mode. It allows you to not have that lag when you're using it and you know, the mouse is like a little laggy. You can fix that by just going to game mode. So that's what I use it for. So it's awesome. The iMac itself is hiding behind it. So let's see if it's, you can see it. It's hiding behind it. <laughs> it's on this table that I have custom built, but yeah, it works. I love it. I can be like this far back and still be able to see, obviously, if I decide, like I said, I don't really watch stuff here, but if I'm watching tours and I'm like eating or whatever on that table, or if I'm eating on the couch right here, I can sit back and still be able to see instead of the dual monitor system that I had where it can be squinting my eyes. So yeah, it would have been super useful for that. So yeah, and a bunch of cables. I have that reflector, that 5 one reflector you can buy online and whatnot. I won't pop it on right now. I have a gray card for white balance another little table i have a keyboard stand for live performance and i actually used to have it set up right here but it was just cluttering a space so i just wanted to have like an open space into everything in here so now all that stuff is just stashed here keyboard covers you know for when i'm transporting these and going to play live monitor stands end up getting later i got it from a guy on like facebook marketplace and all that stuff so yeah oh and I, oh. huge important detail that i glossed over these Acoustic panels, the little acoustic foam pads that you can get on like Amazon and whatnot. They ran out of this specific version. They ran out of this specific version, but I'm sure you can get whatever, you know. Just mounted on the wall right here on top of the ceiling. Landlord probably won't like that, but. Surprise, motherfucker. It's okay. <laughs> so we have those just so we can dampen the reverb elite on here. DIY foam that I put under like a little fabric and just to kind of dampen the sound in the corner. Random painting, books on the reading list. Like these are the new on the reading list. I wanna to get to these by this year. Outside of that, I do have, let's see, some of my favorite books. Some of them I haven't read. Some of them I do wanna read. It. Uh, so on my reading list, get into reading and writing and stuff. You're doing like film stuff in the near future. Right now I'm doing the YouTube thing, but which I really like. So all these are my all books and stuff like that. Some of them are corny, some of them are given by friends, some of them I just need to get rid of. But, you know, some of my favorite books are here. I was about to show you too, the cable management. Not really a system, but I have all my cables. This is like for audio, audio cables right here. I do have USB and power cables in here. I do have, let's turn that off. Jesus Christ. These are cable ties, little zip tie thingies. <laughs> uh for cables random accessories and tools and whatnot so yeah 
so more books uh, i won't even go into the computer to show you what software that i have this video is probably like an hour long already i don't know it's way too long are you sure about that's it that wraps it up that's my video thank god thanks for stopping by i'll be making more videos much better i'll have a format for right now i just wanted to give you a quick tour of my studio space so Thanks for stopping by. Hit the like and subscribe and share this video if you'd like with friends and family. I will see you on the next episode. Love you guys. Have a great day. All right. Later.